flip phones. Yes, today we're talking about these flippy boys. Not the new ones, the old ones. So you won't be seeing any Samsung Z Flips or Motorola Razr 5Gs. Besides, modern smartphone flip phones are pretty useless, and to be honest, kind of stupid too. At least it kind of made sense with the old ones. Anyways, this is a Nokia 6133, and it was released in 2006. We already talked about this boy in a random stuff video a while back. And I played a little bit of Snake in that video, so go check it out. So yeah, today we are going to be talking about every single flip phone I can find, excluding the doubles of the same model. I'll be back after finding all of the various flip phones. First up, we have this LG 440G, and it was released in 2012. Like all flip phones though, this boy has a removable battery. And there it goes. Now I have to put it back. Anyways, let's turn this boy on. <sighs> of course this boy needs a SIM card, which means it's useless to us. Time to turn this boy off. And it doesn't even say goodbye, how rude. Next up, we have the original Motorola Razr. This boy was released in 2004, and he still looks nice today. I would talk about this boy more, but he doesn't have a battery. And the back just pretty much falls off. But look at how nice this boy looks on the inside. I really like those metal buttons. Next up, we have another Motorola. This is the Motorola V500. And this boy was released in 2003. This boy is also in pristine condition. It has pretty much zero scratches. Let's see if this beautiful boy turns on. Of course it needs a SIM card to get to the main menu. Why wouldn't it? It needs a singular SIM too, which I don't have. This boy still looks nice though. The secondary screen backlight looks pretty cool. So yeah, this boy looks nice, but needs a SIM card on the inside. Bye Moto. Next up, we apparently have a weak hinged Samsung Gusto 2. Pretty funny name by the way. This boy was released in 2012. Flip phones from this era don't look cool, they just look bland. And apparently, they decided to copy Nokia with a stupid sticky rubber crap everywhere. This boy definitely isn't a looker. Anyways, let's turn this boy on. Oh yeah, I forgot that this boy has a bad battery. Well, we won't be seeing this boy turn on today. It's a good thing, because it's probably sim locked anyway, and we wouldn't want any further disappointment. So yeah, this boy has a funny name. Next up, we have the LG Revere, and it was released in 2011. This boy doesn't have a battery, 
so I won't be talking about him that long. He does look a bit nicer than a Samsung though, but not by much. Next up, we have a Motorola i570, and I don't know when it was released, but this is a thick boy. It also has an extendable antenna. So yeah, this flip phone is a big boy. I actually kind of like the rugged design, sort of. Let's turn this boy on. I think this boy is dead. Yeah, this boy just won't turn on. This boy is military grade dust and shock resistant though. So you can throw this boy around without a care in the world. Next, we have a Sanyo Katana and it was released in 2006. It has a very weird proprietary port. It also looks strangely similar to the Razer. Sanyo has some explaining to do. Whatever, let's turn this boy on. Yes, it actually doesn't need a SIM card. Let's see what we can do on this boy. I mean, we can use a calculator. It seems to work. So yeah, this boy at least works, unlike the Razer. The keypad is a bit ugly though. Let's turn this boy off. So yeah, everyone liked to copy the Motorola Razor, and Sanyo clearly wasn't afraid of doing so. Next, we have the Samsung SPH A660, a catchy name from Samsung. This boy was released in 2004. Other than that, this boy is mostly a silver brick. The battery is completely dead on this boy. I already tried turning him on. So yeah, this boy is not that interesting. Next up, we have an LG VX3400. And this boy was released in 2006. I don't know why, but this boy looks kind of funny. I think it's because it's very small. Anyways, let's turn this boy on. Oh, this screen is crap. This boy isn't sim locked, that's good. Let's see if there are any fun things to do. I mean, I guess you can look at a world map for fun. Not a lot of interesting things preloaded on this boy. This color looks pretty nice. It's like a very dark blue. So yeah, this boy is pretty small and it has a crappy screen. Next, we have an LG LX125, and this boy was released in 2005. It looks pretty cool. 
There's a button down here to open the battery compartment. The side buttons are pretty basic though. This boy has a very skinny profile. Let's turn it on. This boy has a different UI. <sighs> None of the fun stuff is available. Whatever. I like the light blue on gray color combination for this boy. So yeah, this boy looks pretty nice. Next up, we have a trio of LG VX 6100s, all custom spray painted. This is the gold one. This is the red one. Let's turn this boy on. Or not. It probably needs to be charged. Anyways, this is a sparkly silver one. This boy doesn't have a battery, so I won't even try with this boy. These boys would be pretty boring if they weren't painted. Although the gold one looks more like a giant turd the more you look at it. At least the silver and red one turned out semi-decent. This one is dead too, that's why I didn't even try. So yeah, these three are pretty basic and all completely dead. Next up, we have a Nokia 6061, and it was released in 2005. This boy is probably the smallest flip phone, but it's also a thick boy. The back side almost looks like it could be the front side. Let's turn this boy on. This boy isn't sim locked, that's good. Also, there's no snake on here, I already checked. I guess we can look at wallpapers. So yeah, this boy works. He also looks pretty nice with those red LEDs on the front. On the bottom, it has a typical Nokia ports. So yeah, this boy is pretty cool. Next up, we have another Nokia 6133, but this one has been custom spray painted and is missing the battery cover. It still has that fancy button that works. This boy was extremely hard to get back together because of the hinge. At one point, I almost broke it. So yeah, this boy is hard to put back together. And finally, we have a Samsung SCH a650. This boy was released in 2003. Sadly, this boy doesn't have a charger. It's pretty similar to the Samsung SPH A660. Everything about these boys is similar to the other. 
So yeah, this boy is pretty forgettable. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that Motorola razors are cool. And if you want to see more videos like this one, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next less boring video.